IPN Innovation Conclave 2024. India is really on the verge of breaking it and making it big. And it's all in your hands and our hands to make sure that we don't falter on this path and we keep on this path, keep this growing and keep India growing. Where there is an AI, there is definitely conflicts and disputes and there's definitely proprietary information which needs to be then secured. For a change, you're going to be discussing technology and copyrights. We have a brilliant mindset of minds here. The confusion lies not in the laws whether it can be a copyrightable work. It has to pass the threshold of the same conventional law that it has to have the element of creativity plus labor and it should not be automatically machine generated work and that will be given copyright. Almost all in-house as well as law firms have started using A uh, at different levels. What kind of protections uh, you know, an organization should be looking for uh, when you deploy generative AI? Even when the chat GPT had to be trained, it is going to be trained on a plethora, on a corpus of materials. So what happens? Is it infringing the copyright when it is training itself? And the second one is that what happens to the output? Is the output also infringed? data stealing per se from the organizations become a criminal offense in this DIA itself when it is proposed, then it would be a very, very beneficial for the industry. AI tool completely highlights and gives you a compliance scorecard which is then presented in the board meeting. At Microsoft, of course, we work on creating these technologies and as ma'am said, it's not just about creating technologies and IP, we of course also ship them into products.